For deeper analysis, the spectrum of the machine vibration is required. If the spectrum comes directly from the VEC, the parameterized fault frequencies can be displayed immediately. If speed information is provided, the fault frequencies are shown accordingly. The raw data lacks this speed information. For the purpose of analysis, you may therefore have to calculate the fault frequencies manually. For a gearbox, the following gear mesh frequencies have been calculated. These fault frequencies can be marked in the spectrum by adding labels. This means we found the cause for the first three peaks in the spectrum. As the gear meshing does not produce a pure sinus signal, further peaks are likely to be found at multiples of the fault frequencies. Hence, we are now looking for harmonics of the fault frequencies. Thus, all the significant peaks in the FFT spectrum can be explained by gear meshing. There is no indication of any other cause. Wear occurring in the gearing will lead to what we call side bands. This will cause further peaks to appear around the gear mesh frequency at the distance of the shaft speed. For analysing, we use the measurement lines and the side bands. The distance of 7.32 Hz does not represent any of the shaft speeds, hence this is not a sideband. 12.82 Hz is a shaft speed, this means we've discovered a sideband. To analyse the size and incidence of the peaks, we use the sidebands function. It turns out there are only very few and very small sidebands. In general, this is not an indication of any problem yet.